Hi everyone and welcome. Uh, and uh, in the end, as for now, uh, we made uh, four playlists. Yes, and we have just made the fourth uh, playlist. And from now on, uh, we are going to start the fifth uh, playlist. Yes, we have again really uh, we will really have uh, interesting and uh, important uh, topics that are chosen not randomly but really carefully okay now first and foremost let's see what uh, what we shall discuss uh, throughout uh, this uh, fifth playlist yes playlist of not songs, of course, of course, playlist of our uh, English speaking videos. Yes, play videos of uh, Harmony 4. Yes, Harmony 4, uh, Tour 5, yes, and uh, with its uh, 10 trips. Okay, in this uh, tour, in this unit, yeah, in this unit, we will have those lessons. Lesson, lesson of stages of life, unit of stages of life, turning points in life, behavior and personality, identity, poverty, and George Orwell. Yeah, why did George Orwell choose to live as a poor person? personal development, crime and crime prevention, CSC, city surveillance cameras, within the law, it's a, it's a law, it's the law that, yes, it's the law that you can't do this. Yes, it's the law that you cannot uh, bring those seeds into this country. Okay, it's against the law that, you behave like this. It's against the law that you speak like this. By law, plagiarism, types of personality, and risk managing, risk management. Okay, these are the uh, topics that we will be discussing uh, throughout playlist five. Okay, now. ChatGPT, what can you say about generation gap and why is it seen more in adolescents in 70 words? Adolescents, teenagers, among teenagers, or teenagehood, teenhood, maybe, yeah, childhood, uh, girlhood, boyhood, and teenhood. Okay. ChatGPT said this. The generation gap is when older and younger generations have differences in what? Yes, when they have differences in beliefs, values, and communication in behavior. Yes, it's most noticeable during adolescence because teenagers are growing and becoming independent. They are living, experiencing uh, sudden changes in their uh, uh, both physical and psychological worlds. They want to explore their own ideas, which often differ from their parents, or which are often different from their parents, or again, which often, often differ from their parents. This can lead to misunderstandings unfortunately, and conflicts, making the generation gap more apparent in the teenage years. Yeah, they make it more apparent, more visible. Now, stages of life, from birth to death, from cradle to grave, yes. From cradle to grave, yes, I said it without seeing uh, the the words in quotation from cradle to grave means 
all through your life or lifespan, lifetime. These are really important words. Uh, your life, your lifespan, your lifetime. What do we need from cradle to grave? What we, uh, what don't we need? Yeah, what don't we need? We need really innumerable. Yes, we have limitless uh, needs and fears, of course. Besides our needs, we have uh, a lot of fears as well. Yes, for first and foremost, we need food from cradle to grave. We need drink. We need drinks, yeah, uh, as a noun. Drinks from cradle to grave. We need knowledge from cradle to grave. We need uh, air. We need water. We need, we need help. We need education. We need uh, knowledge from cradle to grave. So life is uh, somewhat uh, a lifelong learning process. Lifelong learning. Learning never ends as long as we are alive. I am still learning. Who said this? Uh, Mike, uh, Michelangelo at age 71 or 77, 87, 81 or 87. I am still learning. Yes, at the age of 87. Okay, so it is clear that we should keep learning. Yes, we should go on, continue learning at every stage of life. We need water from the cradle to the grave. What else do we need? We need, uh, we need uh, understanding. We need communication. We need communication uh, from cradle to the grave. What does lifelong learning mean? Life, lo lifelong learning means going on learning at every stage of life until we die. Human life circle. Can, uh, are they readable? Yes. Let's start with... Yes, we be born, we are born, we start school, we make friends, we graduate from school, we get a job, we fall in love, we get married, we have a baby, uh, maybe uh, some divorce, uh, some emigrate, uh, and we uh, we retire, we uh, we make a will, and we die naturally in the end. So uh, life and death, uh, living and dying, should be considered harmoniously uh, together. Yes. Now, infancy is the first stage of life. Yes, infancy. Infancy uh, being a baby. Infancy is the first stage of life. What is the next? Childhood. Boyhood or girlhood is the next stage of life. What is the next stage of life? Teenhood. Yeah, teenhood. Just like boyhood, girlhood, teenhood. Adolescence stage, juvenility, yes, juvenility, or puberty, puberty a stage of life. Adulthood is another stage of life. Middle age is another stage of life. And old age is the last stage of life. Uh, for example, uh, it's an advantage that an infant grows rapidly. It's an advantage for an infant, yes. An infant grows rapidly. What is a disadvantage, disadvantage of infancy stage? So we will start like this. I really advise you to practice all of them, yes, to make your English better. It's a disadvantage. It's a disadvantage that an infant uh, has dependence on uh, his or her caregivers. And uh, an infant 
it's a disadvantage that an infant has inability to communicate effectively. Yes, I advise you to produce uh, sentences from those advantages and disadvantages of every uh, stage of life. Okay. Be looked after. Be looked after by someone as a child means be brought up. Yes. What does stop working because of your age mean? Yes. Stop being, uh, stop working because of my age means to retire or to be retired. Yes. OAP means old age pensioner or retired person in English. What do they call uh, call a very young child who is just learning to walk? Yes, they call him or her a toddler. Yes, a toddler uh, who is just learning to walk. He walks a little and he falls down. He crawls. Uh, for a while and then tries to uh, walk again. So uh, that child is called a toddler. Okay. Wise and cherished grandparents. Of course, uh, wise and cherishing grandparents uh, are also wise and cherished grandparents. All people might feel, might suffer loneliness. What other problems might, might they feel, might they have, might they suffer, might they face? They might face health problems, money problems, or transport problems. What's the first thing to be dealt with about the problems of the old? Of course, uh, their health problem is the first thing to be dealt with about them. Regarding them, connected with them. Okay, what makes a good parent? What makes a good parent? How to be a good parent? After infancy, childhood comes, then teenage comes, then young adult, middle age, older adult, senior, yes, after pregnancy, of course, infancy uh, occurs, comes, come about. If you love someone, you must be prepared to set them free. Yes, to feel uh, what they have, both physically and uh, psychologically. Uh, you should set them free to do something on their own, to succeed something by themselves, to feel the taste of succeeding something alone. Yeah, of course, guiding always counts. Guiding uh, always matters. That is necessary. Guiding always is necessary. That a parent between the guiding and setting free, there must be a harmony uh, between guidance, uh, rational, logical guidance, and uh, setting free. That a parent listens to an adolescent teenager carefully makes him or her a good parent. Excellent. Yes. First, listening to the teenagers carefully is really vital. What makes a good teenager? Of course, again, uh, listening, uh, to, listening to their parents carefully and asking questions and uh, want to learn something, uh, make, make a good teenager. How can parents or a teenager express themselves better? Of course, uh, experts say that uh, there are a lot of tips, uh, strategies uh, to follow or to be followed. Both, both are correct. Strategies to follow or st strategies to be follow followed. 
uh, yes, first and foremost, I think both sides should be open-minded uh, and uh, they have they have the sense of they should have they should have the sense of uh, mutuality yeah mutuality okay parents often criticize teenagers attitudes by seeing this is interesting when i was your age yeah they start like this when i was your age I used to do this, I used to do that, I could do that, I could do that, yes, I was able to do this, I was able to do this. Okay, how else do parents criticize their attitudes? They also, uh, parents of course, they also criticize uh, their at at attitudes uh, by, uh, by giving, uh, by giving orders yes when my parents start the when i was your age lecture lesson yeah so we should tell something to children uh, not as if we are having a lesson but having a, commun a, a communicative communicative chat yes we should say we should tell express our op opinions uh, as if we are having a communicative conversation. Because communication is really uh, vital. Teenagers often criticize parents' attitudes by saying time has changed. Yeah, time has changed. Everything has changed. Uh, viewpoints has changed. Schools has changed. Time has changed. Yes, my uh, little girl used to say, uh, for example, uh, although she was not more than, she was not, uh, she was, uh, she was uh, not able to speak uh, enough. Uh, well, he was not, she was not able to speak, well, but uh, she used to say, uh, father, Time uh, has changed. Instead of saying "Baba devir değişti," she used to say "Baba demir değişti." Iron demir, uh, devir demir. Instead of time, she used to say "Father, uh, Father, iron has changed," because uh, there is the similarity of pronunciation devir. And Demir, she used to say, Father, iron uh, has changed. Instead of saying, time has changed. Yeah, okay. Devir has changed. She used to say, iron has changed. What other typical sentences are parents like to hear from teenagers? What other typical sentences are parents likely to hear from teenagers uh, for example uh, teenagers uh, often criticize parents attitudes by saying you always tell you always tell the same thing you always uh, you always uh, connect uh, you always uh, relate uh, that kind of things to the same point Something like this I have heard, yes, in my life up to now, I have heard that kind of sentences. This time has changed. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the cartoon. Father says, hi, sweetie, how was school day? You can read all about it on my blog, dad. Yeah, okay, a modern teenage. Okay, a common and natural part of human society to stimulate more harmonious relationship. Yeah, this is really serious. A common and natural natural part. Oh, it is common but natural. Yeah, it is uh, it is normal. But uh, let's see what it is. Uh, 
what is the term which is used to describe the differences in values, attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors between different generation, generations, especially or typically, particularly parents and their children. Yes. Different generations. Typically between, that's right, between. Let me read the question from the beginning. Uh, what is the term which is used to describe the differences in values, attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors between, higher is between, between different generations, typically between, yeah, there is uh, also, it means that there is also between, between parents and their children. A vacant space or time. Yes, this is the explanation of that term. Explanation of the generation gap. A vacant, empty, empty space or time. For example, uh, mind the gap, please. Yes, in metro stations, underground stations or subway, subways, you can often see mind the gap. So in space, vacant, empty, there is emptiness in space or time, generation gap between parents and children. How do we manage? How do we manage to close? How are, are we able to close? Yeah, how can we close? But because it is difficult, because it is challenging, we should use how do we manage to? How do we manage to close the generation gap differences among different generations, especially, especially uh, children, parents, and grandparents. Yeah, I am a grandparent. Okay. When parents and teenagers have an inner conversation, each half of the generation gap or generation conflict, generation clash is understood, is resolved. So it is very important. Uh, to have inner conversation means each individual should talk to himself or herself first before talking to the other side. Okay, when is the entire issue resolved? So entire issue is resolved when there is mutual understanding and communicative approach. Yes, communication is, we should always open to communication, communicating ideas. What is the importance of seeing a good example? Of course, we are naturally in need of an example uh, in every field of every aspect of in, uh, in every facet of life. Okay, let me read the image uh, first. 30 little ways to set a good example. For example, the setting a good example, being a good example for, for the young people has also got, uh, for example, here, 30 ways, 30 tips, 30 strategies, yes. Okay, for your kids, good example. Ways to be a good example, yeah, to set a good example or to be a good example for your kids. So we should try to learn some uh, good, uh, good tips, good ways of uh, setting a good example and we should try to apply them. It's important that parents set a good example for their children. Who or what set standards, set standard for the parents? Of course, uh, life experiences and uh, customs, traditions, and all those universally, surprisingly universally accepted uh, human good qualities set those standards. Standard or standard? Uh, sta uh, plural must be in English better, yes. Standards. Who should or who is? 
who or what uh, sets standards for the parents, of course, uh, human history, let's say, human history, universal experience, set those standards. Post positive attitude. If parents and teenagers have a positive outlook, positive angle, positive attitude, perspective, frame of mind, they will be hopeful. Yes, so if we see that positivity leads to, leads to uh, hopefulness. Is it easy or difficult to have a positive attitude? Of course, it is uh, really difficult. Why? Because you have to uh, spend time, energy, uh, and you have to use your abilities uh, try, by trying, by trying to get uh, scientific true knowledge and uh, to develop your develop your emotions by using beautiful techniques and uh, it's also uh, useful uh, to improve our behaviors uh, by using universally accepted uh, ethical ethical standards principles yeah, it is really difficult when do parents and adolescents stop complaining about each other yes i think if both sides have a positive attitude each or at least uh, if both sides are trying to have a positive attitude, attitude each then uh, they stop complaining about each other they stop complaining about the difficulties and they start focusing on the solutions. They start trying to have a solution-oriented perspectives. Both sides can do this. When do people tend to behave, to be, to have, yes, pragmatically ambitious, yes. When do people tend to behave pragmatically, consciously, thoroughly, heedfully, attentively, but uh, when when do do people tend to be ambitious, rebellious, argumentative, sophisticated, careful? Adjectives they tend to be adjective, tend to behave adverb. When do people tend to have an idea? Tend to have a noun. Yes. When do people tend to have? Uh, in ambition as a noun, yes. When uh, when do people tend to have ambition? Tend to have argument. Tend to have attention. Yes. Or at what age do people tend to be carefree? Tend to behave. Do people tend to behave in a carefree way? Yes. In their fifties in their 20s, in their teens, in their 30s, which one? Let's, let me try to find the question and uh, try to answer it. For example, uh, when do people tend to behave pragmatically? So people tend to behave pragmatically in their 40s. Okay, just like this. And in uh, an idealist thinks a lot, a pragmatist acts a lot. Yes, a pragmatist is the person of action, but an idealist is the person of ideas, opinions, thoughts. ChatGPT, can you regenerate another paragraph on generation gap and why is it seen more in adolescence. Yes, this is the, the generation uh, of ChatGPT. The generation gap is the difference in ideas and values between different age groups. Uh, 
it's particularly noticeable during adolescence because this is when young uh, people are trying to figure out, understand who they are and what they believe in. They often challenge their parents' beliefs and rules as they quest for independence, which can cause conflicts and misunderstandings. This clash of generations or uh, conflict of generations is more apparent, clear, visible in adolescence due to unique challenges and changes that occur during this time. Okay. Yes, uh, this is uh, for today, for now, and I hope uh, it will be useful. And I hope uh, you will uh, benefit from this uh, as to make your uh, English speaking better and better. Okay, bye for now and see you next time.